And we're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Closer Show. So this shit right here is this fan right here all year. Yeah. But this shouldn't be stressful at all. That's when I'm just because he wouldn't give it to Jeans, private stock, lead, motherfuckers. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to The Closer Show once again this January 6th of 2022. This will be the first Closer Show that we've held in the year of 2022, so we're going to make it great. On for you guys tonight, as you guys must know, is RJ Bates the third. Once again, he will be personally calling leads, closing them, getting some contracts happened, and making some money, showing you guys how to do it from the top down. So without further ado, we're just going to hop straight into it tonight. Welcome. What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Uh, excited to be back. Excited to be back. Show show people what I can do here. <laughs> show off as if you leads. need yeah. Uh, show off the leads. There we go. Those need to be shown off. I don't think you need to show off anymore. You've got there every you title go. imaginable. <laughs> hey man, I, I love doing this. This is uh this is fun. I uh get to sit here and just have good quality conversations with uh with hot leads and listen, I'm I'm three for three on the closer show so far. So I, I got a little bit of internal pressure to make sure I had locked something down. You're going to have the longest streak yet. I don't think anybody's gotten even two for two. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, are we ready? We're ready. You got the leads list. I think uh, unless you let's need anything it. else, I mean, let's just get some deals. Let's do it. Start Justin here already. Patrick's always repping. All right. <clears throat> We got to get a. Uh, we got to get Patrick in one of the cage matches and see if he will uh, end up facing you for the uh, crown. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to unleash Patrick on that. Please leave your message for 7854301773. Hey, Thomas, this is RJ calling you about your property on Burr Street. You had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell it. Give me a call back, 817-915-6860. Thanks. We got Niger here. And Niger was in the uh, – Niger was on the Closer show the other week. He says he wants to face Patrick, so we maybe have to get that in the works. What you think about that, Patrick? <laughs> that jersey is nice. I was making fun of him just before we started the show, looking like he's uh, in some place that's meant to be cold, but he's in Texas. But apparently it was actually cold there today. It is cold here. Mario says he wants to face yesterday's winner. Scotty killed him, man. Por favor, deje su mensaje para nueve uno cinco dos siete cuatro seis. What's that, Spanish, RJ? Hey, Sergio, this is RJ calling you about your property on Tierra Norte. Uh, give me a call back. Uh, you had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell it. So call me back at 817-915-6860. Thanks. Thank you. 
Uh, Samuel, I am a hockey player. That's why. I, that's why I look like one. I'm playing tomorrow night at 11:45 p.m. I can already tell you're a bruiser. My, my nickname's the Juggernaut. <laughs> Hey, Emily, this is RJ calling you about your property on uh, Mountain Mesa. You had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that property. Give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thanks. Growing up in Minnesota, I'm like the only person about a 100-mile radius that doesn't play hockey. You know, the one thing I really don't understand about hockey culture is the hats. All you guys, I don't know about you guys now, but all the high school-age kids were playing hockey. They like perch their hats on their heads. They like it doesn't actually go and cover their head. It just kind of is like sitting on it, like a uh, I don't know what you want. I know what you're talking about, but yeah, we, we don't do that so much here. I think that's a, a northern thing. My winter sport was a uh, wrestling, so we tucked our tucked our sweatpants into our socks. That's our weird thing. I, I still don't know why, but you know, I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be. Hey, is Ricky there? Hey, is Ricky there? Hey, Ricky, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Artesian Avenue. You'd entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell it. Uh, just curious what it was worth. I got you. So you're you're not technically interested in selling it. You just want to get an offer. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I need to know what my house is worth because I need that down payment to apply on a new house. And the way things are now, if I show my house, I'm afraid that it may not be any more houses out there for me to buy. Okay. So are you looking to sell this one so you can buy a new one, or, or what's the situation there? Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, how much are you looking to get for your house? Sounds like you already got another one lined up. Okay. And so how come you didn't hire her to, to list the property for you? Uh, well, I didn't want to list the property. I wanted to find out what the market would be and what it was worth. And I wanted to know what the market was worth. Because I'm really not ready to sell. Gotcha. I just had, I'm, I'm doing a sale. I'm really not ready to sell. Gotcha. 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 I'm really not ready to sell. Okay. Well, I, I think if uh, if the realtor told you 250 260 then she pretty much already told you what your property is worth, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm a I'm a buyer, so I'm not I'm not in the the business of, you know, just telling people how much their their property's worth. I'm I'm more interested in telling you what I'm willing to pay for it, but sounds like you're not interested in selling. You're you're more just looking for a, a realtor to give you a well, you're an investor, so you're going to lowball me anyway because I know if I can sell it for $250, uh, I don't know. How much more can you beat $250? Uh, sounds like you already know. I mean, you just told me I'm going to lowball you. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, then. All right. Have a good night. You I'm not your bitch. I don't work for you. That guy is the definition of a tire kicker, though. <laughs> hey, can you tell me how much my property's worth? I don't want to sell it, but uh, no, I can't. I have better things to do, Bubba. We are actually looking to, um, we're going to get a new funnel, specifically for people who just want house valuations. Sell them way, way cheaper just to real estate agents. Cassie said, do you want her to test it? <laughs> we would love to have you test it, Cassie, because we know you're one of the agents that does business. I love Dave's answer here. Tell him to get a prop stream subscription. <laughs> that was one of my favorite comments right there.
Has anybody been able to even predict what perhaps students move has been, why they removed the MLS data? Hi, just leave your name and number and I will return your call. Name's RJ Bates, phone number 817-915-6860. Uh, you'd entered your uh, information on our website about selling your property on Palmetto Avenue. So give me a call back. Straight to the point is RJ, no doubt. You know, <laughs> I, I had to say, Liam, as as good as uh, Scotty and Daryl were last night, there was moments where that was cringe worthy for me because they both tell. they both were taking this approach where it was like they were so opposed to asking what the price was. Yep, I was like, please, for the love of God, we're ten minutes in this conversation. Can you just ask? Dude. Price is there. I mean, like so many times people will say right in the early stage of a call, you know, if I get the right price, if I get the right price, my next question is going to be, what's the right price? Tell right. me what it is. Right. I mean, I, I totally get what you're saying. Like they're great talkers, but that's not always, you know, you got to be and a great I question. Was asker. The same thing. It was like they would say that and then they're like, hey, I'm going to go build a rapport for seven minutes. And I'm like, what if like the other the other day we saw it on one of these shows where I asked the lady, what's your price? She says four hundred thousand. I look it up, and the ARV is two hundred. I mean, I don't want to build rapport for seven minutes. You know, it's like I'm I'm getting off the phone. Like, where did you come up with that? Oh, well, I know what my house is worth. Okay, I'm not your guy. Bye. And what you guys don't realize too is like the transition time between calls, right? Like. A, when you're on a call, and B, when you're calling again, like there's little things that are going to interrupt you. All like, like RJ, my conversation right now, like this is going to happen in real life. The less time, you know, like time goes away so much faster than you think. And all of a sudden, yeah. you know, your call block is, your call block is completely gone. Um, no deals. Mario wants a piece of Scotty. I'd like to get Mario on the show. Cassie, what do you think about Mario versus Joey? I'm I'm saying, what do you do? You think that's a good matchup? Hello. Hey, Robert. This is R.J. Bates calling you about your property in Northport. Give me a call back. Eight one seven nine one five six eight six zero. Thanks. Maybe you have Mario versus Joey. Then whoever wins can go against Scotty. <laughs> Scotty wants to create a whole bracket. Scotty wants a piece of me. Yeah, he does. Yeah. That's what was offered to him. So Hello. Hey, is Robert there? This is Robert. Hey Robert, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Brynwood. You had uh entered it on my website saying that you were looking to sell that property. The website, it was just becoming too much work, so I stopped. But obviously, my number got through. So tell me uh, tell me what the place is worth. Oh, uh, well, you got to tell me a little bit about it. Um, what's going on with it? Is it occupied? Is it vacant? Oh, it's our primary home. Gotcha. Does it uh, does it need any, uh, any repairs to it? Uh, just minor stuff, nothing significant. On a scale of one to ten, it's probably a nine. A nine. All right. And uh, what's what's got you looking to sell? Uh, we're downsizing. I'm building another home uh, that's uh, nearing completion, so the timing is good. Timing's good. All right. And that uh, just to make sure I have the right address is four five eight one Brinwood Drive, correct? That is correct. All right. 
looks like you've got a a pretty pretty nice little little place here yeah it's not bad not not bad <laughs> yeah the uh the initial estimated value i have when i pull it up is 3.1 million well that's about i built this home in 1995 and that's about what it cost gotcha let me see so definitely moving in the right direction so you're at right under 5300 square feet that sounds about right Looks like we've got you got a property on Highcroft that sold for 3.65. You've got one on Groveland Terrace. That one sold for four million, but it was a little bit newer, about nine years newer. Um, so yeah, you're you're probably in that range of uh three three to four million. That's kind of what I thought. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll just be honest with you, Robert. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be your buyer. I'm an investor and th there's not much that I could do with $3 million properties. That's not really in my wheelhouse, but yeah, that's what I see as, as far as the value of the property. Um, you know, the, the, probably the, the person that's best suited to help you there would be a, a luxury, um, realtor local to the area. Uh, but you know, for us, that's, that's just not what we're necessarily looking for, um, in, in the properties in the areas. All right. Well, I appreciate the follow-up and, uh, good luck in your search. Absolutely. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cash flowing a property like that's hard. Yeah. And it was also built in, um, the late nineties, 99. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Too not, new. not, not necessarily what we're looking for there. That ain't going to be my bitch tonight. I think that there's somebody who would, um, creative that they could try and create it. I mean, you know, you can pitch the tax burden thing to them, um, say, Hey, look, you're trying to downsize. You've, you, you've already got some extra cash. I'm sure. Um, yeah. I'm sure I'll get comments from the sub two <laughs> group. You know, why didn't you sub two seller finance Novation his daughter and Novation his daughter? Yeah. Okay. And for those of you guys who are wondering, it's because the paperwork on a deal like that is a lot. It's just not what I'm wanting. We are not able to come to the phone right not now. Not what I'm looking for. Leave your name, number, and message after the phone, and we will get back with you as quickly as possible. Thank you, and have a great day. Hey, Francis, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Van Buren. You'd entered it on our website. Give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. How's that Washington deal for 700 looking? Oh, Oregon deal. Oregon. Um, yeah, so update on that. Um, he was not facing foreclosure like he thought he was. Um, so that immediately gave us more time. Um, there's been significant snowstorms up there. And so the, the pass from Portland to South Beach, which is basically where all of our buyers are going to be coming from. No one can get there. So right now he's fine. He, we're in great communication with him. Um, he sent us a bunch of pictures. Property looks to be in pretty decent shape. Um, it does need some work, but uh, we haven't been able to get buyers out there, but he's fine because he's not actually facing the timeline that he thought he was going to be facing. So perfect. What, how many buyers do you think we have interest in that, Patrick? Uh, probably like we got a good five. Five. So we yeah we have five buyers interested in it. Five so, buyers in the seven hundred thousand price point. That's good. Well, that's a that's actually a fairly yeah. common price point in yeah. in Oregon. So oh, uh, I see. I I feel like we're we just dispoed another one in in uh, Oregon uh, today. So I feel like we should be able to move that one pretty quickly once we get 
the ability to get people over there. We actually have a buyer that's going from Idaho to Portland, and if the roads are clear, he's going to go see it this weekend, and he would be, um, he would be an ideal buyer for us. One year, the only spot in Minnesota we even have three million dollar houses is going to be in uh, there's some custom built Stillwater or on um, Lake Minnetonka. You're right. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Uh, to answer uh, this, I, I don't have any hostility towards the Subtube family. I actually love Pace, and I love his community. I just I crack jokes about it because anytime I'm on a live and I get a lead like that and I just walk away from it, it's always like, well, why didn't you do this? And it's just I I don't want to mess with a $3 million house in in naples florida like with, that gentleman needs a realtor to just sell his house so he can downsize and move on with his life i'm not his best solution that's the reason why i made that comment i love creative finance just as much as anybody else but it's gotta uh, make sense yeah there needs to be an exit strategy there and it needs to make sense for my life I think, too, when you put a focus on something and so much learning time into it, you're really looking for that solution and things and trying to find, you know, everything that's shiny is not gold. So when you're really searching for it, you can find it in it. But is it worth the time, money, effort going into it? Get away that cost. Trill, you're in DFW too. You got to go to the uh, Crucible. It's coming up in about two weeks. And people are answering the phone about as much as they were on Christmas Eve Eve. I know, right? Please leave your message for six three zero two five four nine two one four. Hey, Greg, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Kristen Drive. Um, you had entered it on our website. Give me a call back at 817-915-6860. Thank you. Um, Mario, are you all the way through the list, or did you just pick and choose who you're calling? I'm, uh, I'm picking and choosing. Okay. I was going based off location. All the red ones are the ones I've called. Yeah. Uh, Mario, we do creative finance anywhere. Um, but the exit strategy has to make sense for me. So for example, we have a sub two in Alaska. We've got a seller finance in Ohio. We've got another seller finance in Mississippi and we've got many in, in Texas as well as Hawaii. Um, we've done some in Arizona as well, but, uh, the exit strategy has to be there. And for me, I don't have an exit strategy for a full market value, $3 million, $4 million house in Naples, Florida. First of all, I don't have any connections to Naples for I don't and I've never done business there. And I don't really want to be involved in that price point anyways. So far, the biggest deal I've seen come up speed to lead leads. It was um lead in California, right near a really bougie private school, like just on the same street. Price point of the house is seven millions, and uh, somebody got it under contract for like one point nine. I gotta see how that deal turned out. I, I was gonna say that one in uh, Oregon might it might combat that a little bit. We're making money off that one in Oregon, so I, I certainly hope so. Jeez, come on. They can sense they're about to get closed. Hello. Hey, is Donald there? Hey, Donald. This is RJ Bates calling you about your property on Limestone. Um, you had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that property. Right. You still looking to sell it? 
tie them. Gotcha. What you looking to get for that? I was looking around one twenty-five, one thirty. One twenty-five, one thirty. All right. And uh, tell me a little bit about the property. What you got going on with it? Um. Long story short, I was gonna live in that house, and my kids didn't want to live there. I just bought a new house in Columbus. It was like seven bedrooms. So, um, I don't know what we used to spend our, I, with the whole COVID thing, uh, Springfield has those national parks and all that stuff, like some really nice parks. And we used to go hang out in them, but we didn't have a place where we could rest, go to the bathroom. So I kind of bought that house with all that in mind. And then when my kids didn't want to move to Springfield and it got cold, I found myself not eager to be driving you know, I all the way to Springfield from Columbus to be checking up on it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Gotcha. I kind of use, I, I, there's like a closet and it has some pretty big closets. I use it for a little bit of storage for our clothing, but we've never even spent a night in the house. So it, we just go there, we go hang out in Springfield and we come back to Columbus, we drive back to Columbus. Did you just buy it in June? Yeah, I did. Gotcha. Okay. Um, it's a pretty big house. I mean, right. Um, I thought my kids would want to live there, but they didn't want to live there. I see. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking uh, property. They must have uh, completely remodeled it before you moved in. Yeah, they did. It, it is really not. It is really nice. Yeah. Uh, in my 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 uh, three hundred thousand dollar house does not have those um, <laughs> uh, things that they have in there, like marble sinks and butcher block countertops. And right. They did a pretty nice job. A uh, wine cooler. Yeah, my my house doesn't have all that stuff. Right. So, how'd you come up with the the price of one twenty? Getting my price from is just what I thought that um, after all is said and done, what I would, you know, make it work because the time I spent, I, I didn't do a lot of, I didn't really do much of anything to it. I mean, it looks exactly the same way it did. I bought the stage and furniture, that furniture still sitting there. Gotcha. Um, so I didn't really do anything to it. <laughs> just coming up with that price because I thought, you know, the time, the effort, I mean, because it took me a long time to find that house and a lot of effort of driving back into Springfield and stuff. I guess I'm negotiable on the price, but that's where I came at. The other thing that I came at is I looked at other houses. So, so that house is sitting in the historical district of Springfield. Mm -hmm. And around the corner is uh, Fountain Street, and they're redoing all the houses. So, my so those, so I think the one guy he had like 135, but his house wasn't redone on the inside. So the other people, if there, it was redone on the outside, but it wasn't. There was nothing done on the inside. Well, it was something done on the inside, but there was no upgrades. So there's like three or four houses that they're working on um, currently at the house that they're not done. So I'm assuming that when they go to sell. They will, they will sell at a premium price, but I, that's just speculation. That's not um, that's not anything that I can bank on, but they're pretty big. They're pretty nice, and they're remodeling the insides. Like, so they're remodeling them from the bottom up. See. Um, interesting. So you're... You already have a property that you're living in. So what what would you what would you need the funds from this closing for? Is it just to get rid of the property and kill the mortgage? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty would you much. Uh, yeah. would you be open to something uh, creative there? Um, yeah, because because for I'm me, good. for me, you know, it's like I, I get it. You've got a fully remodeled property, right? And mm -hmm. you just bought it doesn't need any work. I'm an investor. So I'm looking at it saying, all right, well, I, I mean, I can, I can pay whatever, but that's only dependent upon what my exit strategy is going to be. Right. And so for something like this, I mean, you're saying it's got all this staging furniture still in it. 
So this gives me a couple of different exit strategies. I could keep it as a rental property or I could uh, Airbnb it. Something along those lines, I'd have to look and see if that's allowed in the area. Um, so there, there could be a couple of different creative things that we could do there. Um, as far as either uh, seller finance and a sub two mixture, uh, I know I'm throwing out technical terms to you. I can explain what those mean, but essentially where I take over the mortgage payments and uh, make payments to you monthly. And uh, that allows me to, to be the professional and come in and, and do what I need to do, managing the property as a, a cash flowing asset. And so it could give you where you don't have to worry about the mortgage anymore and uh, you make a little bit of monthly cash flow on it. Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Um, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. There is, there is no mortgage on it. Ah. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's no mortgage on it. Well, um, how, how would you feel about becoming the bank? I mean, I possibly potentially could. That, that crossed my mind. I, I talked to, a, uh, like a long time ago, I talked to a realtor about it. I, I don't want it sitting empty and unused. You know, I mean, that is just a waste. Well, that's you what know? I'm saying. I mean, if you were to, <laughs> if you were to. Gas bills and, and electric bills. And, and I'm like, it's sitting there unused. That, that's crazy. Right. Yeah. And, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, you could go from being cash negative on it where you're paying you know, electric bills and gas bills and, and all of that, plus property taxes. Um, you could stop that bleeding and start making monthly cash flow on it from, from someone like me, where you sell or finance it to me. And then from there, that allows me to turn it into either, like I said, a short-term rental or a long-term rental. Um, yeah, that's definitely a possibility. So... Uh, I don't want to be a landlord. So. <laughs> right. And and that's the beautiful thing about seller finance is you are the bank. You don't have to worry about tenants and toilets. All you have to do, you would take first lien position just like Chase Bank does. And and at that point in time, um, you just collect monthly payments from me. Let's, yeah, that's definitely a possibility. Let's see here real quick. Let's see what these monthly payments are. do you know what the the annual property taxes are on it i do not i do not let me look real quick <clears throat> so if we did a hundred and twenty thousand mm -hmm. over, and I'm just throwing in rough numbers. These are all numbers that we could change over 20 years. Um, we would be making monthly payments to you, a, a minimum monthly payment of around seven hundred dollars a month. Okay. And that would be for the next 20 years, as long as we don't over pay or prepay or refinance or pay off. But once we do that, that's when you would get the, the big lump sum payment. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a possibility. I mean, seven months, how much did you say? Seven hundred dollars, but that's giving you your one hundred and twenty thousand. So okay. that's that's one hundred and twenty thousand would be the purchase price. And uh, then that would be monthly payments over the next 20 years. So it'd be seven hundred dollars a month. Say twenty years. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a possibility. Yeah, I mean, I just need to think over the numbers a little bit. It's a possibility. As I said, I'm not really looking to be a landlord. But you're not. You're you're the bank. You're making interest yeah, yeah, on this. Yeah, 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 you know. I, I, I get what you're saying. So, like on this, yeah. on the total of two hundred and forty payments, I'm not paying you one hundred twenty thousand. I'm paying you one hundred seventy five thousand. So you got right. to think about it from the perspective of you're going to make an additional fifty five thousand dollars in interest. Oh, I, your your uh, your proposal sounds uh, very um, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your proposal. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, your your, pro, your proposal sounds very 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 interesting. Yeah, and it's a it's a definite possibility. You know, because that could be like a you know that could basically potentially fund my kids. Uh, 
um, which is the only thing I ever wanted to do anyway. That's how I started this. I was like, buy and hold on. And then I was like, I don't want to do this. And well, let me like, tell you, I've got about 20 of these myself where I've done this with other people. And uh -huh. it is the, the, the best passive income that I have out of anything because the money shows up monthly. I don't have to right. worry about what's going on with the property. I don't have to worry about any gas bills or electric bills or property tax. Right. I don't have to worry about any of that. It's just, did I get my payment this month? I did. Okay, right. good. <laughs> and, right. and from there, it's just, it just shows up. It adds up. And, and I just look at it going, holy cow, like how much money am I actually going to make over the course of, you know, this 20 years and, and, for you, you know, I'm looking at this property. I'm going, okay, you bought this in June for 98,000 and you could turn around and turn it into something that you make 175,000 on. I mean, that's a, for doing nothing. I mean, like you said, right. yeah, you spent time to go find it, but you didn't rehab it. You didn't do anything. I didn't do it. I, didn't do it. I, I absolutely didn't do anything. Yep, I, I have not done a thing. So yeah, it's, po it's definitely possible. Um, I'll tell you what, let me think about it. How long do I, Will you give me to think about this thing is is definitely um something that i would uh definitely consider well i don't want to be pushy but i mean let me just ask you i mean what what is it that you need to think about i think about everything hey <laughs> you're that kind of guy huh i got gotcha. you yeah, yeah. well how long do you how long do you like to take to think about things uh, a day or two if you give me two days i can i can have an answer for you all right well, how about this? Why don't you take through the weekend and okay. uh, let's talk on Monday. Actually, no. Well, actually, we can do that. Um, it's just, are you okay with talking to my partner, Cassie? Because I'm actually going to be going out of town on Monday. Are you okay talking? Or we could talk tomorrow if that's if that's not too fast. What is today? Thursday? Today's Thursday. Yeah, I can talk to your partner. That's fine. Okay. Well, let's. I, what I'll do is is I'll start a group chat um, okay. via text message with my partner, Cassie. And okay. I'll, I'll tell her all the details here. And then that okay. way on Monday, you and her can chat. Cause I'll be actually be traveling with my son to go to a uh, travel hockey tournament. Um, okay. So okay. I, I, I won't be available, but um, yeah, she'll be able to, to walk you through the whole process. And uh, hopefully this is something that you decide you want to do. It, it sounds fantastic. Yep. So Monday, I'll, 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 yeah. Yep. Sounds like, sounds good. All right, buddy. Have a good day and we'll talk to you on Monday. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, bye bye. All right, that was I think the favorite line that I absolutely stole from you was the um no taxes, no tenants, no toilets. Yep. You know how I came up with that one? Did you steal it? Uh, no, I just came up with it. I'm sure someone else had previously said it, but when I actually seller financed a rental property and I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. There's no tenants. There's no toilets, no taxes. I don't have to worry about this anymore. And it was like, it, I mean, for me personally going, we, we converted a lot of our rental properties to seller finance just to alleviate some of those issues. And, uh, it was a great decision for us. So, um, that was that was pretty cool. That's a good looking property. It's completely remodeled, um, and it sounds like it's in a great area. So it's pretty cool. And the the offer that I made him, just so everybody knows, was with zero down payment. Uh, but see how I didn't offer a down payment, or I never brought up a down payment. I just said my offer is one hundred twenty thousand, and this is how much I'm going to pay you monthly. It was just assumed. Um, there was never a conversation about it because I didn't want to bring a, a, alert him of that. And then um, it's at 4% interest. So 700 a month. Actually, it's probably like 3.5% interest. So I will keep that one up. Gene wants to know if he gets uh, money for the next 20 years on that deal. Hey, is uh, Timothy there? He's calling. 
Uh, this is uh, RJ Bates calling you about your property on Mound Street. You had entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that property. Yeah. You still looking to sell it? Yeah. How much you looking to get for that? Uh, I don't know. I owe 42 on it. Okay. You just looking to get out from underneath it or what's going yeah. on with it? Yeah, I'm getting ready. I'm getting to look to get out from underneath it. Gotcha. Do you live in it or is it yes. uh, vacant? I gotcha. What kind of condition is it in? It's not bad. It has uh, aluminum siding and a uh, shingled roof. The whole backyard is uh, privacy fenced in. It's got a one car garage that's attached to the house. It's a corner lot. I see. Give me a few seconds here, just pulling up some numbers here so I can see if I can do the 42. Um, how quickly are you looking to, to move? ASAP. Gotcha. What's, uh, what's got you wanting to move so quickly? Uh, I'm going to move out of state. Where are you going? Back to Missouri. You wouldn't happen to be moving to St. Joseph's, would you? No. I was going to do a little tradesy with you. See if you wanted to buy a property there. Uh, let's see here. How long have you owned this property? Uh, since the first of the year. Last year. Gotcha. I bought it and it was, I have it financed and it was through, uh, and it sat empty for two years and I didn't know that. They didn't tell me. Did that cause issues or, or what? I you? had a hell of a, I had plumbing issues, water heater. I mean, it was just everything. New sewer line I had to put in. It was just, you know what I mean? Major, right. major repairs. And, and everything's functional now? None, none of those yeah. issues? No, I live in it. Got automatic garage door opener and everything. How many square feet is the property? The property, I, oh, I don't know. Uh, I know the house is like a thousand square feet. It's a smaller home. I called the tax service because the assessor's office, because they had the taxes on this house. <clears throat> We're right around $2,800 a year. And uh, since it's owner occupied now, it's going to go way down. Let's see. So if I gave you 42,000 today, that would pay off the mortgage. What are you going to do to purchase a new property in Missouri? I have no idea. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. Gotcha. Hmm. Do you have any idea what this property would rent for? What it would rent for? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you right now, the cheapest place here in town, the apartments that there's apartment uh, block over on the other corner, and those apartments rent for 600 a month. And that's a one bedroom. Two bedrooms go for 650. You mind me asking how much your uh, monthly payment is? My house payment is $575 a month. And does that include taxes and insurance? I pay the insurance myself. That's another 120 a month. Uh -huh. Yeah. Man. Shitload. How many bedrooms do you have? Two bedrooms, one bath. Where are you out of? I'm out of Fort Worth, Texas. Oh. I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can... Um, keep this as a, a, a rental um, <clears throat> I'm 
trying to see what the rent rates are in the area, but those so you're you're basically paying like seven hundred and twenty dollars a month with your mortgage and your taxes and insurance and everything. Right. The interest rate on it is nine percent. I do know that. Gotcha. So you bought it owner finance from someone. Yes. Out of a company out of out of uh, California. Yep. That's why the monthly payments so much. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I think I'm into it more than what it's worth. I I agree. Um. The nine percent hurts. The the monthly payment hurts, and then the the principal balance hurts. Shit. Um, let me see what, what? I, let me see what I can do here. I I mean to, to be honest with you, you could probably sell it for somewhere in the in the 50s yeah if if the inside is better than what these pictures are on zillow have you is it better than what these pictures are on zillow or or no the inside you mean yeah i've laid all new flooring down and everything okay it's probably got a lot of junk inside it in that yeah it does that's the way we i bought it Oh man. I took seven I took seven dumpsters out of here. Jeez. They uh they stuck it to you. Yeah, there were 50 bags of diapers in the in the garage. Used or unused? Yeah, used. Jesus. Yeah. That's awful. You know, this is what pisses me off is, you know, people like this give investors bad names. I, I literally was just talking to a guy right before you and and he's got this beautiful property and I'm sitting there talking to him about seller financing it to me, which is what these people did to you. And it's like, this is what makes people want to add regulations to what we do because, you know, there's people like this that are selling properties to you at 9% interest with 50 bags of used diapers. I mean, yeah. all right. I can't stand that. Uh, I mean, the, 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 let me think about this for a second. All right. I'm going to repeat exactly what Scotty did last night. Let's see if I can close it. All right. So what I think I could do for you is, is probably this is the best option is we could, uh, we could try to do what's called a novation agreement, which is where we sell the property and for you. And we try to get it. And basically I could give you somewhere in the range of like, say 45,000. So you have a couple thousand in your pocket and, and we try to sell it and whatever we make over the 45,000, then we would keep, I'll just be honest with you. We're probably going to try to sell it in the mid fives or yeah. mid fives, mid fifties. And but we're gonna have to probably pay uh, a buyer's agent commission out, out of that, so we would probably end up making somewhere in the range of a couple thousand ourselves. That would probably be the only solution that I would have for you. All right, well, I have your number. Let me talk to you, and uh, I'll let you know from there. Okay. the Sorry. The only other option that I would say is, is man, you you might just have to call a local realtor to just come out. But that would, you know, you're going to be yeah, paying. They, they stick it in your ass. Yeah, and they're they're going to be paying. You're probably going to be paying them somewhere in the same range that you'd be paying us. Right. But you know, I for us, we could be trying to sell this to other investors that we know, and we have a pretty extensive network. So, but I get, you know, it's not the ideal situation where you're able to just walk away. But you know, it's it's probably the best <laughs> that we could do. All right. Well, let me, I'll think about it. I'll give you a call back. All right. Appreciate it, man. Have a good day. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Man, he's in a...
he's in a tough situation right there. That one, I need to say that phone number. Justin, What's up? Um, do we have um, do we have buyers in Sparta? Uh, no. Okay. We have a realtor. We have a realtor. Okay. She's the one trying to find buyers for my property right now. Gotcha. RJ house buyer. I want to buy your house. Mario, that site is uh, mortgagecalculator.org. Um, there was probably next to three hours of the crucible with me on that website, Mario. You, you might need to come back. Mario is one of my favorite people to give a hard time to. Everybody deserves it every once in a while. Hi, Sarah there. I believe Sarah's ass answered the phone. Sarah. Just keep shouting. She'll get it eventually. Sarah. Sarah. Look at your phone. You know you want to look at TikTok. Uh, the the Sparta one was on Mound, Mound Street. Sarah, are you there? Sarah's now put me on hold. Sarah? Oh, she hung up on me. <laughs> Pretty sure Sarah's phone is in her butt and it's doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Either that or she's just blowing straight into, I don't know. Maybe she's blowing straight into the uh, microphone trying to mess with you. Yeah. I don't know if I should be offended at the fact that uh, last night's episode had more people watching than tonight. See, it's got the controversy. That's what people like, you know. They want it to be. Uh, they want some sort of, you know. Hey, is Eric there? there? Sorry. Hey, Eric. This is uh, R.J. Bates calling you about your property on Lindshore. You had entered it on our website, saying you wanted to sell that property. Uh, the right price. What's the right price? Million. All right. Let me see. How'd you come up with that price? Um, just, I, know. 
Ah. Did you see what happened to Zillow? No, what happened? What happened to Zillow? Zillow went and bought like 12,000 houses because they used their little Zestimate thing. Now they're having to... Zillow bought 12,000 houses? Yeah. Now they got to fire sell them because they overpaid for them. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they wanted to play uh, HGTV. Turns out it's a little bit harder than they, than, uh, they thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see here. Million. What uh, I'm assuming for a million, the, the property's in pristine condition. It's in much better condition inside than it's outside. He's a paint job outside. He's a mile after the work. Gotcha. And the roof. Okay. Are you a Pats fan? Are we, uh, are we going to do something in the playoffs? I don't know. I hope so. In this last game, though, they won, they won 50 to 10 or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we... I'm, I'm done in Florida, you know. I got gotcha. you. So is this like a secondary home? I'm going to Florida. That's my girlfriend's house, right? I, uh, I'm here with her. In Oregon. I got gotcha. you. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of sold comps. Uh, that get to that yeah, price range. They hang on to them. Yeah. I got... Let me condense this down. This is within five miles. Let me get within a mile. Man, no one wants to sell around there. Within a mile, I only got three comps. Um, yep. And not on the beach, right? That's the condo. You got 800, 830, 715... But you're not, a, but the, you're on the beach, and they're not on the beach. So yeah, I mean, I can see how you could probably get a million. Um, I mean, it's it's not gonna be me. I'm an investor, so I mean, then what am I? What am I gonna do with a million dollar property on the beach? You know? Right, right. What's wrong with these? Hey, three units. Yeah. Three units, that helps. Gotcha. Well, yeah, I'm I'm probably not the the right guy for you there. Um. But uh, appreciate you reaching out to us, and uh, best of luck with that. My, my girlfriend owns a house next door, 203. Yeah? She wants to sell that one, too? She might sell that. The right price. You sell both of them to me for a million? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. A million each? Mm, yeah. No. A million, it, two for her. No, it was uh, buy one, get one free. She got my, she got my <laughs> free house. Right. I'm paying a million for hers and then I'm getting yours for free. That's a great deal. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind having both tear them down and put all condos in. Well why don't you do it? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see if the see your wife first. No. I'm gonna get financing to do that. It's not cheap to build condos, you know. I got gotcha. you. Well I appreciate it, man, but uh yeah, this is uh this is just not not the, the right deal for me. Right, right. You're looking for a deal, of course. Oh well, yeah. Do, right? uh, the, hey, you got you got to feed my kids. You know, if if I can't get it, if I if I got no money coming from it, then what am I doing spending my money on it? Oh, well, of course, of course. It's all about you know deal. It's all about having you know the right property and the right price. You know, that's how you make money. Right. So you you want to you want to give it to me for a deal? Seven hundred thousand. My daughter would kill me. She'd want it. She'd want it. She, she could get it for seven hours. She'd take it. <laughs> I got you. 800? Uh, we're buying a house in Methuen. Where's that at? It's a... I don't think I don't think she likes me very much. Uh, no offense, I don't like him very much right now. 
Ah, I got you. I got you. Hey, man. Yeah. It sounds like you got some work to do. Go make her happy, okay? All right. All right, buddy. Have a good night. She was not happy at all. I'm just going to be honest with you. This is one of the ugliest houses I've ever seen that's probably worth a million dollars. They I, exist all over nowadays. I mean, it is just flat <laughs> ugly. I mean, but it is right on the, the, the little beach there in the little bay. But, I mean, it's just. Now, for all of you guys tuning in from RJ stuff, who do not know about us or what we do. This is it right here. Wrong thing. There. What? There we go. So this right here is ispeedlead.com. And this is just one of the leads that we have. You can see right here in Detroit, Michigan, right? Deals can happen in Detroit. City population of 350,000. We can see that he's verified his phone number because he's relocating his property. It's in poor condition. Paint outside. Bathrooms need work. And in the scale poor is like one of the very worst things so there's got to be more than that there almost always is it's vacant right there's no mortgage on it either everything about this lead says i want to sell my house quick to wholesaling so these are the leads that we provide on speedily.com you guys got to check it out right it's free to sign up there's a link in the comments and uh, then rj gets a little bit of money from you too so if you want to support him do that and then on top of that, right, say you really like these leads. You're making a bunch of deals happen, and you want to get them for cheaper, right? You want to get these leads cheaper. We can run targeted ad campaigns just for you, just for you, getting these same type of leads that are in poor condition, um, that have no mortgage on them, and generate them directly for you. So I figure you guys should all know about it because uh, you guys aren't using speed of leads. I mean, you guys aren't winning. Hello? Hey, is William there? Speaking. Hey, William, this is RJ Bates, Connie Batch Property on Overlook Drive. You, uh, It entered it on our website saying you're looking to sell that property? Yes. Excellent. How much are you looking to get for that one? Well, I owe around 46 on it. And I only got a couple offers, like around 80 on it. But it needs a kitchen... And wiring needs done in the basement, and the bathroom needs like updated. It's done, but my uncle screwed it up. Gotcha. How come you didn't accept those eighty thousand dollar offers? I was just looking around. I mean, I just that was like six months ago when they offered me that. I mean, I had the real estate about a year ago. So I, she told me I could put it up for like ninety five. And you know, I mean, see somebody could get it. Right. But I'm just getting because my ex left me for a black dude five years ago, and she won't leave the area. She's like two blocks from me, and she's just causing you know causing me problems. And then just I'm just sick of it. I see. I just want to sell it. And just, I just want to go. All right. Uh, so how much you, how much would you be willing to accept today? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what this damn place is worth, but I mean, the real estate said if I do the kitchen and the wiring myself and just do the odds and ends in the bathroom, I'd probably get 140 for it because I would, I would remodel the whole house myself between the drywall, flooring, wiring. Yeah, I mean, it's just, the only thing that's not new in this house is the hot water thing. Yeah, but you said you wanted to be done. So I'm saying that just to be done and, and I'll send you a contract and you can get the hell out of there in three, four weeks. You don't you do not do anything. I mean, what, I mean, what do you think? I mean, I just, 80,000, I'm guessing? I mean, I... I mean, I gotta make sure I have enough left over on the phone. I can at least buy another house. That's what I'm worried about. I gotcha. Well, the way that we work is is there's no commissions, there's no closing costs, there's none of that. We're we're a cash offer. Um, so we're we're saving you right there on the fact that there's no commissions or anything like that. The only thing that you would have to pay is, you know, your mortgage, any liens on the property, which I doubt there are any. 
and then uh, whatever your prorated taxes are for this year. So um, pretty much we're, we're going to make you a, a fair offer uh, that, you know, you can just walk away from the property as quickly as possible and then try to make it as easy as possible. Um, the problem with 80 is, is that, I mean, like you said, you got to make sure there's meat on the bone, right? So I, I got to make sure the same thing. Um, so tell me again, it needs a kitchen. Does it need the cabinets and the countertops and the appliances and everything? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then the bathroom, I mean, we're talking about we're, we're doing a new tub, vanity. Oh, no, no, it just, it's, it, the bathroom's done. It just, my uncle put the draw, drywall up wrong. You know what I mean? He forgot to like tape it and mud it and everything else. I mean, it's, I man, I could rip that drywall back out of there and redo it myself. But I just don't have time and I just don't want to do it anymore. And then when you said wiring, what, what needs to be done with the wiring? In the basement. It needs rewired in the basement. There's wire already down there, like all new wiring already been set up. I gotcha. just got to. You know, run them to the lights and just hook them. And then what kind of flooring does the, the property have? I put that laminate flooring down, which is my first time doing it. And it's pretty much it. I screwed it up. <laughs> okay. So the, the flooring is going to have to get fixed, right? Yes. Gotcha. And then uh, what about the drywall throughout the rest of the property? Is it in okay shape or does it need to be fixed as well? No, that's all. That's all done. I. That's all been out, mud, painted, and everything else. It just the living room needs repainted because I re. I resanded a little bit more of it because it was still you know rough spots here and there, so I resanded it. So the house probably needs repainted. Okay. <laughs> Man, the roof. I mean, I got. I put. I got that put on between like 2014 or 13, one of those years. The same thing with the central air. Man, the only thing that's not really updated in there is the furnace, not the furnace, um, the hot water tank. That's like almost 10 years, I think. Gotcha. Man, like, best, best I could tell you is just come out, like, take a look at it and see what you see what you guys think. I'm about to tell you what I think I can do. It's 936 square feet, right? Yes. I, mean, I can send you, like, update pictures, too, if you like. Yeah, I'll probably get those for you here in a second, but I'm going to give you a pretty general idea. I mean, I do this all day, every day. So, I I mean, I I pretty much know where I need to be just based off the information you just gave me. Well, I was at Home Depot three months ago, and they told me I could get, like, the cabinets and a bottom base for about at least thirty-five to 4000 Right. But I'm the the way I'm looking at it is I got to do the the kitchen, you know, I got to do the cabinets, I got to do the appliances, I got to do the the countertops, you know, all the other shit that comes along with that, the the faucet and the sink and all that. I got to repaint, I got to redo those floors, I got to do the bathroom, I got to do the wiring down in the basement. I mean, I'm just adding that up. I mean, to be honest with you, man, I I probably need to be. I probably need to be between sixty-five thousand and seventy thousand. Like trying to take it off my hands. That means you don't have to do anything that's as is, and and we get it done in the next three to four weeks. Man, if I take a loss, I'll take a loss. You know I mean, I don't care anymore. I mean, you offer me seventy thousand. You just come take this stupid thing. I, I just don't want it. <laughs> and I, and, and I guess I over on forty six on it. And uh, my taxes are due. I think March is my state taxes. I think comes in, I believe, which is like two forty three something.
You still there? Yep. So what do you what do you think? And if I set seventy thousand, will you guys will come out or give me a different offer if it's something you know doesn't add up? I mean, we're gonna come out. We're gonna look at it. Um, but I mean. We're we're gonna have to walk the property and verify all the conditions and what you told me, but I would say, uh, you know, ninety five percent of the time, the offer that I'm giving you right now is gonna be the offer that we are gonna move forward with. All right, like I said, I mean, I'm a honest person. Like I said, you come, you guys come in and look at it. Well, I mean, that's why I feel confident in the offer because you told me that there's shit wrong with the house. I mean. Majority of the time, what I get told from people is, is everything's great. There's nothing needs to be done. And then we come out and we're like, hey, what about this kitchen? What about this bathroom? What about this wiring? You know, you told me already. That's why, you know, I told you, you know, you know, heads up what's wrong with it. Right. I'm I'm still living here. You know, man, I've been living here for since 2013. Right. Yeah, I mean, it just, I put like a brand new front door in, which is like, that big glass oval thing, a uh, brand new back door. There's like brand new windows all out through the house. It's all brand new. I got it from Home Depot. So, I mean, whoever buys it, the life warranty will you know, fall to the new owner. Okay. <laughs> but, I mean, like I said, when you come out, you can see all the brand new windows, brand new doors. You know, I mean, you'll see all that. Well, would you like for me to send over an agreement for the seventy thousand? Yes. Okay. Let me verify I've got your email correct here. It's uh have at gmail.com. Yes, sir. Okay. Give me uh just a couple minutes here and I'll get this sent over to you. You uh you mind hanging out on the phone while I write this up? So if you have any questions, you can take a look at it. Uh, yes. All right, give me just a few seconds. I'm going to put a closing date of February 8th. What's that? I'm going to put a close I'm going to put a closing date of February 8th on or before. Okay. Did you guys did you guys, did you guys have time to come out Sometime tomorrow, like in the evening, to take a glance at it. Um, possibly, yes. I can. Uh, okay. I can see if I can make that work. All right, I'm putting it in the DocuSign right now to, to send over to you so you can take a look at it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for it to come through my email. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uploading it right now.
All right, should be coming over any second now. All right. Yep, I think I just received it. Yep. I'm just kind of, I'm just reading it too. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the question is, if I uh, like accept the offer, like, do I got to pay off the mortgage on my end? Will you guys sort of take care of that on your end? It, it gets taken care of at the title company at closing. So when we wire the funds in, the title company is going to pay off the mortgage and then cut you a check for the difference. Okay. I wasn't sure how that, all that works. That's what I was asking. Yeah, because they want to, they get the release of lien for me and all of that. To, so I verify that it gets paid off. So yeah, it all gets taken care of right there at closing. All right. Taxes got to be paid up also for the whole year, correct? Uh, yeah. So that's also going to get taken care of at closing as well. So the title company will look up what's owed for the property taxes, and then they'll pay that at closing as well. All right, because like I said, all my taxes are paid up last year. Right. So then for this year, you would only pay for however long you own you own it. So for this, it would be through February 8th. So you'd pay a month and eight days worth of taxes. Okay. That's the next question I was about to ask because I know my state's coming in. I think March, I believe it is. Right. So everything's prorated to for however long you've owned it. All right. So once I do, <clears throat> then once I do sell it, like everything, when you guys come look at it, if you guys like what you see, if you guys find something else wrong with it, like down the road, will that fall back on me, or it's just like no, I'll take care of it? no. Once once we close on it and it's sold, then you have no no liabilities. All right, because man, like I said, I. I'm just being honest with you. What I what I did when it's when it's property. So yeah, no. It, once we buy it, it's it's our problem, not yours. All right, that's the question I was kind of worried about. All right, so all I gotta do is just sign this thing, and then you guys be out tomorrow. Yep, just go ahead and sign it down there, and then uh, Cassie, who is my partner slash transaction coordinator, she'll call you. She'll schedule our showings and, and come out and we'll do our thing. That's the next step in the process. All right. Like I said, I should be home tomorrow, like by three o'clock. I'm not sure if that works for you guys or not. Yeah, we just have to call and, and, and verify, but it, it should be. Um, so I'll, I'll, as soon as I get off this phone call, I'll, uh, I'll verify and make sure that we can get out there as quickly as possible. Yeah, I really appreciate helping me out. I just want I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I got you, bud. Well, we're gonna get you out of there as quickly as possible. That's why I have to just all right. I signed it and my phone number's on there. Awesome, buddy. Uh, the password. Uh, no, it's it's done. It just it on that's where the default screen goes to. I don't know why, but no, I got it. It's completed. Um, so I appreciate that, buddy. And uh, like I said, Cassie will call you probably uh, tomorrow morning and uh, we'll get things rocking and rolling then, okay? All right. Do you know what time tomorrow morning? Because I'll be at work. Um, I'll tell her to shoot you a text before and ask you when would be a good time to talk on the phone, okay? 
All right, I'll let, I'll let my driver know to keep out, you know, keep out my phone for me if it does go off. All right, sounds good, man. All right, thank you, sir. All right, bye bye. There you go, man. There you go. Not bad at all. Yeah. Everybody, I want to know what markets you're all in. I've got a uh, my friend here, Darnell. He's new to wholesale, and he says he's in Florida. He wants to know some good markets in there. Anybody who's in Florida or anybody who's anywhere, just uh, reach out to him. Let him know that uh, you know there's a lot of great community people out here, and talk to him about that. Liam, is it – is it so unimpressive now that you don't even get excited when I get contracts? Dude, literally they happen all the time. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Congrats, RJ. You made another 40 grand. It's small, you know, it's small peas. <laughs> uh, I was just saying, we we immediately just strolled from a contract into, hey, what market are you guys in? Like, what is what is the climax of this show now if it's not me getting a contract, Liam? <laughs> It's you being here, man. I mean, we're gonna get another one in probably twenty more minutes. So, uh, that 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 one was easy. I this guy over here, up here at the top, he was like, um, dude, his story. He dumped that on you right away. I know. He was like, this, my girlfriend left me five years ago for some black guy, and they live in like, whoa. I know. Listen, somebody up here was like, this this lead is fake. <laughs> And I honestly, I don't even blame him for thinking it. <laughs> like I was thinking the same thing. Like this dude is just so motivated. And then it's like you looked it up, and it was like that was a good deal. I mean, even at eighty thousand, it was a good deal. I mean, uh, Air V on it was one forty. I mean, he was correct. Uh, but that was, I mean, it's a nine hundred square foot property so it probably needs somewhere in the range of you know 20 25,000 I this is just a good lead I mean I can't say it any other way I'm just a glutton for punishment so now I'm just gonna go call a couple that kicked my teeth in and then we'll call it an episode okay there we go Kevin gave me a three out of ten. A three out of ten, dude. That's what um yeah. Steve he, gave me so a three out of ten. He's in a group, and they asked me to judge their calls, and so I gave him a three out of ten. Dude, and he got a, Steve on him, and he got a contract too. That's hilarious. Thank you, Kevin. Honestly, there was nothing impressive about that conversation. Other than the quality of the lead. I mean, the thing is, is like you're just digging for those sort of things. That's what it is. No matter what sort of marketing method you're doing. Hey, this is RJ Bates calling to buy your house. Wholesaler. I'll bet ten dollars right now that they're subscribed to Max Maxwell's YouTube channel. I'm not betting that. I'm losing gonna, money. It's gonna be my first question. Hello. Hey, is uh, Vern there? Hello. This is Vern. Hey, Vern, I got a question for you, man. Are you Hello. subscribed to Max Maxwell's YouTube channel? Max Maxwell. I don't think so. Dang it. I lost ten dollars. Okay. Well, I'm the I'm the guy calling about your property on uh, Township Road. Uh you'd entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that one. Uh boy, I'm not sure. Which one? Uh eighteen ninety five Township Road, four sixteen, Dundee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I just I was on the yeah, I logged in on Google and was just uh roaming through there and uh figured i'd yeah put it in there so you want to sell it but, uh, no no i was just kind of curious on what the value would actually be i got gotcha. you yeah. it's my my it's actually my residence okay 
Well, uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm not in the, the business of making offers on, on properties that aren't for sale. So uh, I, I'm going right. to gonna have to pass on that. But I uh, appreciate your time there, Vern. Yep. No problem. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Have a good one. That's why I didn't hear of Max Maxwell, because he's not actually a host. He just came in and clicked random buttons. Yeah. You just uh, look around, see if, see if you wanted to work for free. Costing people for money, man. You're costing people money. I wanted to uh, click your link, just charge you about 20 bucks. And just so you guys know, if you got that lead, um, that'd be an instant refund, immediate, no questions. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight, four, three, nine, zero, seven, five, four, nine, two is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot. Boo. Yeah, then that's a refund. Jen, how do we prove what? How do you prove that it was a bad lead? I mean, by the honor system, but we totally recommend everybody records their calls, A, so that you can get feedback on it with some sort of mentor, but also um, makes life easier. Hey, is uh, Kim there? This is she. Hey, Kim, this is uh, RJ Bates calling you about your property. Uh, in Jay, Oklahoma, you had uh, uh -huh. entered it on our website saying you wanted to sell that one. Yes. Awesome. How much are you looking to get for that property? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Um, but you're looking to sell it, right? Yes. Okay, but you don't have a, a price? Not, not a set one now. I gotcha. Okay. Um, well, do you want to think about that and get back to me whenever you do have a price? $100,000. $100,000. Okay, now we got a starting price. All right, very good. Uh, so tell me, what, what's going on with the property? You guys live in it? We live in it. We want to move closer to family. And it's cluttered, but it's been recently all uh, gutted and remodeled. So it's got a new electric box. We've got a... Um, RV, electric plug, uh, electric plug-in behind our garage. It's got a bath, it's a two-car detached garage with a bathroom in it. And we have another garage out in the back of the yard. And it's a one-car garage. And we have, um, it's a tri-level. Bottom level is a, dine, is a den with a working fireplace. Uh, the middle one is a like an office and a kitchen and a dining room and a living room. And then the top is two bedrooms and another bath. There's a bath on the main level with the kitchen and stuff also. Okay. Let's see here. We had gone through this before with the company in Phoenix and, uh, they withdraw their offer because they was having problems with each other. Guy quit, I guess. I but see. Anyway, we we uh, didn't get any earnest money or anything like that. Nothing. So when we get uh, ready to sell, I mean, we're ready now. But depending on the offer and everything, you know, we can move out uh we're boxing stuff up right now anyway okay how quickly are you wanting to move well we own the house so we don't have to move until we get the right price and a hundred thousand is the right price correct yes sir house is around here 
Uh, we got Lake View. You can see the lake from our property. Uh, as far as Hinton Lake, maybe uh, five five minutes. Only if you're walking, driving, it take even less. <laughs> yeah. You can see it from our house. It's not that far. Right. Let me see if I've I... got older people in this area, you know, and I say older, right, right around 60 and above. I'm, I'm 57, so, you know, we're in the right place. It's kind of people stay to their own, you know, and it works out. <clears throat> okay, give me just a few minutes here. I'm trying to figure out property values around there is the the lot itself 5500 square feet i believe so okay four lots yeah four lots uh you got three and then you skip a lot and then you got four or i said it kind of back at we got three lots together and we got one lot by itself Aren't they all joined? I don't know. I'm asking. I think they could all be joined. So you're selling all of that, correct? So your house sits on one lot, but there's also three separate lots. Well, there's two lots that sit with the house, uh, which is make it three lots. There's two lots on one lot, and then we got one, two lots. Right behind it in the backyard. And then we, I guess, have another one where you skip a lot. And then we got one right there. I think it's never, we haven't had anybody do any uh, surveys or anything like that. So whatever's in the ab uh, abstract is probably correct. And we have the abstract in the bank. So we can sell the property without any help, you know, but uh, we may want to, once we get a final, we may want to get a, somebody involved, you know, to sell for us. Well, we, we closed through a title company, so um, it's good that you have the abstract, but we would close through a title company. Right. Typically, our closing timeline is going to be somewhere in the range of probably four weeks, somewhere in that 28 to 30 day range. Um, the The title has been slower in, in Oklahoma where we are a nationwide company, but uh, title has just been running extremely slow in Oklahoma. So it's we're probably going to be up in that 30 day range. Um, to, to close, which would give you, which would give you time to, to get prepared to, to move out and, and all of that as well. Right. All right. Give me. Is there anything that you know of on the property that needs to be repaired? Yeah, the, uh, on out on the property it still has some power to it but it'll get the breaker and i'm not sure if it's a bad breaker i replaced it from uh lowe's i went to lowe's and got a breaker and i may have took the wrong breaker oh and remember that that new electric box too yeah we we do have uh the new updated uh 200 amp box in the kitchen that most of the house feeds off of that but we have a other small electric panel down in the den that takes care of the heater and a couple other things i think that's it okay now we've been living here for 10 years I haven't had anybody come around, mess around, or anything 
with us, you know. So I would say the neighborhood, uh, they, they, the neighborhood is good. Everybody tends to their self, but we have people that drive around, you know, older people, they ain't got nothing to do. So they drive around the properties and stuff, just making sure everything's okay. I don't know if it's a neighborhood watch or not. They haven't said anything to me. Gotcha. Anything else, Kim? So. I would think, I would think the only thing that needs to be updated is, and if we, if we decide not to sell because we don't get the money, then. Uh, I'll put a heat and air in here and the price will go up or in that electric box. That's that's it. <laughs> we just hadn't done anything because we were waiting to see if anybody's wanting the property. So we went to Zillow and put it in at Zillow and we got with the realtor. We haven't signed no contracts with nobody, including realtors. Uh, <clears throat> so, and after that first one, we we're not going to do what we did. You know, we didn't get no earnest money or anything. We we take care of too. When you say you didn't get any earnest money, is that did they did they put earnest money down at title? No. Okay. No. We we still had the title, and uh, we was going through an individual uh, that had partners in, in uh, where did I say? Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona, yeah. And they didn't get back to us, you know. We had to call them, find out what's going on, and then... About five days later, you know, or so, the guy finally told us that he left the company and uh, the contract's up anyway. Uh, we had a 30-day 30, 30, 30 contract, and they didn't fulfill it, so and we didn't, you know, earnest money. They said they put down earnest money, but they didn't. I see. So how much earnest money are you wanting me to put down? Uh, what's what's normal is five hundred in this area. Okay, well I don't have a problem with that. Um, it what it sounds to me like is is that was probably an investor, um, like myself, and right. and they probably just ran across some hard times and just weren't able to perform on the contract. You know, right? Um, but yeah, we're open. We're open on that hundred thousand. I will tell you that we're open to. Uh, of offers, you know. Right. Uh, I know what we paid for, it and uh, we put money into it. We put ninety thousand dollars into it about a year, no, probably about two or three years. So, it's, I mean, it sounds like a, a great property, it sounds like what I'm interested in. Um, yeah. You know, for me, when I'm looking at it, I'm trying to look at some of the values in the area um, and and decide if I could come up to that hundred thousand dollar number. Um, right. When when they offered you the hundred thousand dollars, was was that covering the closing cost and there was no commissions and everything like that? Right. Gotcha. So I would be so making it. So essentially, what we would do. Is, is basically uh, sign it over to you guys and let you guys take care of what what needs to be done. Correct, but we would, yeah, we would be closing at a title company. Um, so yeah, I mean, we would we would close, and the title company would collect the money, and then you know pay off the prorated taxes and, and things along those lines. Is that there's no mortgage on it, correct? Correct. So. Yeah, we I'm head of household, and or actually, I think Kim might be head of household. Kim, I'm head of household, and uh, 
uh, we don't pay taxes on the house because I'm 100 percent disabled better. Gotcha. So there you go. I mean, you don't even have property taxes on the property, so you're gonna you're gonna get 100 percent of net proceeds. Yeah. All right. There you go. So, and by the way, thank you for your your service. Oh, you're um. I'm I'm thinking I could probably get pretty close to the hundred thousand. Um, okay. I I don't think I could get all the way there. I think I need to be closer to to the ninety. Um, do we do we have room to negotiate where we come to an agreement? Yep, because uh, we was going to replace the heater and stuff, and y'all's going to replace all that. Then yeah, I'll come down. Okay, and, uh, we'll come down to ninety thousand. All right. Um, would you like for me to go ahead and send over an agreement to you now? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let Are me, to uh, yes, sir. Let me just verify real quick. I have, um, Kim at, yes. okay. Give me just a few seconds to write this up real quick. So that way you guys can look it over and let me know if there's any questions that you have. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, there's there's no commissions or anything like that, and I don't want to deal with the realtor any more than you do. Okay. That's good to me. And what we're going to do, we're eventually going to take the money and go get us a house. Right. Uh, closer to Tulsa, because that's where my family lives. Okay. Me being 100%, she wants to be closer to the hospitals. Gotcha. Well, heck, you know what? I might be able to find you a property in Tulsa. Well, and, and I was thinking that we could do some swapping. We might do that. Right. So, I don't want to go to Tulsa. I had a, I had a realtor that said... Uh, She'd work with us and find us a house and stuff like that. And the first thing I told her, we don't want North Tulsa. Right. Because I lived in North Tulsa for 15 years when I got out of the service. And that is the, well, it's a predominantly black neighborhood. And now they got a lot of Mexicans in there too. And we just don't want to have to wake up to their music and stuff. I see. There's nothing to do with the Excuse the very racist part of the show right now. I got black friends and uh, I know the Mexicans there are good, you know. It's just we don't want to live over there. It's a lower it's a lower incline. Um, real quick, Robert, um, do you have an email as well as it is it Robert at at go uh all right, I'm gonna because I I need both of y'all signatures, so I'm gonna send it to uh, y'all separately. I'll send it to uh, to Kim first. Right. All right, there's Kim. And then drop the signatures for you. 
and then drop them for me and it'll be over in your email in about 30 seconds Just verify I wrote everything correctly in there and, and make sure that uh, we have everything that we need and that there's no questions. Um, for those of you that were well, wanting to know, put in my oh, did. what system do I use for generating contracts? I just did a uh, video about the contract on my YouTube channel. Um, we're going to wholesale this. This is a, a good flip or rental. Could be a rental too. Day. Yes, sir. As long as title can perform, um, which is we we have that down there where, you know, of course, it, title has to be able to give us the abstract and everything that we need. But you already have that, so it should be no problems. But yes, sir. Um, no, it, it's completed. You don't, you don't actually have to have the password. I don't know why that's the case, but every time you sign a contract, it just takes you there. Um, you should have an email now that says completed, and then that'll be your copy of the contract. Okay. So the next steps here would be, uh, Miss Cassie, um, will be contacting you guys just to schedule us to come out and take a look at the property. Um, she'll probably contact you sometime tomorrow. And uh, then we'll get everything squared away, get title open, and we'll go from there, okay? Sounds good. All right, guys. Y'all have a beautiful evening. We'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Now, that is a notable moment. Was it two in a row? Back-to-back? That was. That was back-to-back. <laughs> was, uh, back -back. And I'm going to get that the, the seller finance one, too. So this is going to be three on this show. Dude. And that one, that one, I had to say I'm impressed with because the way it started, you have to remember, she was like, super like, I don't know what my price is. And I totally was willing to just walk. That was not making a fear-based decision right there, which was, yep. all right, well, do you want to call me back when you got a price? Boy, did you hear that husband when I pulled away like that? Dude, I love, that was the greatest. Dude, like, yeah. 100,000. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get on the phone. Boom, man. You, you, we'll turn that into an Instagram clip for you. Um, yes. You can just hear in the background. Yeah, just <laughs> exactly what you did right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, he was, he was like, what is, he's probably looking at his wife like, you, he's probably talking to her right now. Like, you almost let him get off the phone. Well, but you, but the way I, I talked to him, you know, I was like, but you're selling a property, but you don't have a price. So we so often want to think about this as like, we're the closers. We're 
No, they are supposed to close us. We're providing value. Like we're coming with the money. They got to sell us on the house. That's exactly right. it. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I'm the buyer. I'm we don't owe them shit. That's it. Right. Dude, so many people think of the situation and that it's like, uh, I'm imposing on them. No, we're providing them a service. And if they don't want to play our game, like we're running it, right? This is our game. Yes. We do this all the time. If they don't fit in I, our mold, goodbye. I was fully prepared to hang up the phone right there and say, well, that backfired. It didn't work. And it is what it is. But look how it turned out. And, and then I didn't even have to negotiate really. I just let them talk and talk and talk. And then said, look, I'm, I'm probably going to need you to come down to 90,000. And he's like, okay, yeah, that sounds good. That's it, man. I, that right there was probably one of the better calls for people to try to mirror and, and try to just duplicate what's going to happen there. Because the other one was a super hot lead. And this one was a hot lead too. But just the way the whole conversation went down, I, that one was good for people to watch. I, and listen, <laughs> If you're watching this and you're not signed up for speed to lead and getting these leads, I mean, what are you doing? I mean, here I am. These I mean, are the I'm leads that didn't sell. These are the leads that you guys didn't buy. You guys passed up on these. RJ made three deals happen in an hour and 51 minutes. If you would spend 30 minutes to get, I mean, how many tens of thousands of dollars? Wouldn't I, you do it? Dude, it, it's mind-boggling me. Think about, like, imagine if you were just doing this all day, every day. This is imagine if this is all I did was just sit here and just call leads like this. I mean, it's just it's I, I tell my guys, I'm like, guys, like we've we've got to get having more conversations, better conversations. Yep. Because this right here, I mean, this is not I'm not afraid of missing out on one of them, but I'm having good quality conversations and then listening and then saying, look, this is where I need to be. And uh so what on the first one, both of them, we got $10,000 off their price points. And this is why I always say it's so important to get them to throw the anchor in the water first. Yep. Cause I got them to throw it out when they said a hundred thousand, when he said 80,000, that was them telling me I will accept 70 and I will accept 90. And look, they did with no questions asked. They just said, okay, I'll accept it. Now, if I'd come out, I don't know what my offer would have been, but it probably would have it probably would have been hard for me to say 80 to get them to accept 90. It's a process, right? You come out, yeah, you come out with 80 right there. And um, then they're like, well, we're thinking of 100. It's 20,000 difference. It's huge. Right. We're not going to take it. Goodbye. Right. The it's just a mental thing about the fact that they, especially for that guy, his personality was very much strong and he wanted to be the one that said, listen, this is our price and this is where we need to be. So um, that was good, man. Uh, if you guys want to learn from RJ directly, I just put a uh, I put a comment in every single chat here. That's the link to the Titanium Crucible. What the Titanium Crucible is is you go out to Texas, you get to meet RJ and the team in person. They walk you through step by step how they're generating leads, what methods they use to close deals. Right? If you go on RJ's or on actually on Batch TV's YouTube channel, he does a a show where he literally just sits there and he does another method of how he closes leads. I mean, he's got so much content out there. You guys want to learn it in person? Um, I know a number of people. People who've been through the crucible i've heard nothing but really excellent things from it all of them are using their systems and winning from it so if you really want like it to be hand fed to you on a platter go to the crucible or there's one like two weeks i mean dude we we literally promote what we're doing here live and we just show you how we break it down how we've scaled it the processes that we've built around these systems um i mean I don't know anyone else that is doing this. I mean, I'm literally, Angel said it the other day. He's like, dude, you're literally live like 24 seven now. You're every day of the week. And I'm like, I, I want to just go ahead and firmly put this down that what we're doing here works, what we're showing you. And I'm only putting my name behind things I firmly believe in. Speed lead, batch leads, batch dialer. And there's a reason why, because I'm able to, with other confidence, come on here and say, yeah, I'm going to close deals here. I'm going to close them live What you guys are watching. So much so that people think it's it's fake at times. It's like it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's real stuff. Uh, it's really happening, and so it's uh, pretty awesome. So uh, I think that's all I got for you tonight, Liam. I think we two, should, uh, yeah, What a perfect note to end off on. Right yeah. before the two-hour mark, two contracts yeah. sent over and signed. Like, that's it, man. Right. All I'm right, guys. You we were sick last week. Right. 
So uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to be out next week. I'm going to be in, on vacation, and uh, I'm going to be going with my son's uh, travel hockey tournament in Florida. So uh, you, you're going you're gonna to miss me next week, but we'll be back in a couple weeks. And then also I wanted to announce, Liam, um, February or no, January 27th, so three weeks from today, will be when Nick Louivano and myself go into the cage match together. If you don't know who Nick was, Nick was the person that I faced head-to-head -head in the 2020 Closers Olympics, and he almost knocked me out because I got two verbals, but he almost got a signed contract. It literally was coming down to the fact that the seller did not receive the email from DocuSign. And his clock just ran out. And that's the reason why I moved on even after getting two verbals because he almost got a signed contract. So I can promise you Nick is going to bring the fire. Um, he's he's going to have all the motivation in the world to come beat me on the 27th. So You heard it from RJ. January 27th, 4 o'clock Central Time. If you guys are not on your calendar, whatever calendar you use right now, and actually time blocking that out, like, dude, you know how much people paid for the Olympics? And how much people paid to have the replay of the Olympics? Like right. $600, dude. We have hours and hours and hours of RJ's calls. The guy who won the whole thing, right? You're paying $500 to go see the people who lost? Well, RJ, <laughs> how, many, how many calls did you have in the Olympics? What, like five, six? Yeah, maybe if that. I mean, they, they freaking – they cut me off 10 minutes early because I had already <laughs> won. They didn't even let me finish. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it was uh, – you're going to get a total of about an hour and 40 minutes in the closers Olympics. Whereas here, no, two hours, two hours, two hours here. You get two hours, but there, no, I'm sorry. I only got an hour and 20 minutes. So this is already tonight was more content than the closers Olympics. And I mean, yeah, you get other people's calls. You get to see other people's style. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I thought there were some, some super talented closers. I just, I don't see anyone else doing this, though. I mean, repeatedly coming in and, and closing deals, and that's why it's like, listen, I bring bring anybody on. You know, let's, let's there's a lot it. of people who talk big game. I think there's a lot of people who you know they see how sexy it is to be like a closer, right? You know, they have it in their Instagram handle, right. whatever, right? You know, blank and blank the closer, closer blank, whatever you want, right? So many people like that, but nobody wants to step up to the bat. Nobody wants yeah. to actually, you know, do head to head. But RJ yeah, does. Yeah, all right, Liam. We'll see you in a couple weeks, bud. Yes, sir, RJ. Nice seeing you today. All right, bud. Everybody else, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. We appreciate you all being here. If you guys forgot, Speed to Lead is an online seller's lead marketplace. You guys can come on, buy some leads, see how good they are, get some deals made, right? Like, you buy enough of them, there's a guarantee to get a deal happen. We see it all the time. People get a deal to pop from their first lead. So make sure you use that link below. RJ gets a cut of that, so you guys got to support him. Um, and it's just a win, 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 win for everybody involved. Otherwise, if you guys are looking at that and you say, hey, Liam, you know what? I want to get as many leads as possible. I mean, if you guys want to get dozens and dozens of high quality leads a month, right? And you don't want to pay the premium for them, have us run your managed campaign, okay? The managed ad campaign. And you guys are going to get tons of leads. Um, in the real winners, almost every every single lead, you're going to be getting at least some details, um, whether you turn them into a bird dog for you, you turn it into a contract. There's just so much to be had. So thank you guys for tuning in. Here's the, uh, here's the parting ad for you guys. Have a good night. Are you looking to implement pay-per-click advertising into your real estate business? iSpeedTheLead.com is an a la carte PPC marketplace, allowing investors to get into the world of PPC on a budget. Browse and purchase PPC leads a la carte from all around the United States. These leads are from motivated sellers who want to sell now. So if you want to find motivated sellers using PPC, go to iSpeedandLead.com. We got you.